Hi everyone, guess what we're doing? That's right, a new farm, yay, all very exciting. Uh, Honeywell is now the owner of the Fourwell Farm. I've changed her shirt uh, for the occasion and we're playing with the new Four Corners map. The land is divided into four parcels, each with its own park, perfect for a group or a greedy girl. It's all new and exciting and I can't wait to start, but I'm gonna state right up front that I don't know that I don't want to um, commit to doing another full playthrough. It's possible, and we might, but for right now, we'll just play through the spring and see where we're at. Um, each, let's uh, set some of this up. Let's, uh, let's turn it all down. There we go. Um, we're gonna lock our toolbar. We definitely want to uh, zoom out here. Zoom all the way out. For our controls, um, we want to set our space bar to access our menu. You know, very helpful. Um, I want to use that left shift, so we're gonna set run to R and then shift the toolbars instead of tab i'm gonna make that v for our inventory slot one that'll be our caps lock two will be left shift that way i can switch back and forth in the mines uh always helpful and yeah that looks good those are all my favorite settings is everything good are we ready we're gonna do a traditional fishing start, which is much more structured than the foraging start we took with Honeydale Farm. Um, I tend to think in a min-max sort of way, which you guys know that. Uh, but this is still very much a relaxed playthrough. Uh, I'm hoping for a perfect start, of course. Uh, but if we miss a trick or if luck is not on our side, we'll adjust to move on like you do. Sunny day, we knew that. Fortune teller. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. <laughs> Luck will not be on your side. That's unfortunate. Uh, but that's okay. Well, there are amazing goals. And then there's uh, just enough. And right now for our goals for spring one are to get um, all the crops we need for the spring crop bundle for the community center in the ground and uh, get 100 wood for two chests. If we can do both of those things, we'll be off to a, a really good start. If, if we could uh, find tons of spring onions and get an artifact, it'll be an amazing start, but, but we'll work with what we get. There is no, uh, there's no do-overs here. Like you can't, we're not ruining everything. Our fishing start is uh, is very structured, and we have milestones that we like to hit. But uh, this is Stardew Valley, and you can't play it wrong. Anything you do is good. I mean, some things could be better. Like I'm really hoping that we got a few mixed seeds, but that's yeah, that's probably like down to luck. We're gonna take a couple minutes. I don't want to spend too much time on this. We're doing. We're cleaning out these weeds for a couple reasons. One, we want to make room for um, trees to grow, grow up in these spaces. So that'll give us more materials later on down the road when we're ready for them. And uh, two, we're looking for some mixed seeds so we can save some money. But we, again, we're not gonna spend too much time on this because we wanna get out and uh, you know see the world. That's important too. We need to get to Pierre's before it closes. And this is the, this is the, uh, like the foraging part of the map. And there's usually like some uh, guaranteed seeds, o seeds over there, but this is good enough. We have uh, two mixed seeds. Hopefully uh, that'll give us at least a potato or a cauliflower, but we will see. Now I am going to start, I looked at this map on the planner, so I have, so I know where we're going to start laying out our crop fields, 
and by the the Stardew Valley planner. Um, I'm pretty sure that everyone who plays the game is familiar with it. It is. It's just a blank map of the, like a, a graph, pretty much, of the maps. So you can, you know, plan it all out, like you do. Now, we are completely chopping down these uh, trees. You now get experience, so you get an experience point for removing a regular, tr uh, a regular stump now, which is good. You didn't always get that. And if you leave in a stump, it will um, it'll sprout seeds along around it, uh, which might be good for other parts of the farm, but for right here where we're trying to clear a spot for our crops, that's not something we want. Now we have seven stones to kind of keep us on track here. We're going to go ahead and uh, plot these up. We're planning from sprinklers for, from day one. So if we, we can plant here, so one, one, two, three, we're gonna lay out our fields in a uh, sprinkler formation. That way, there is no digging up later. And we kind of know exactly where we're at. Now we have, uh, what, we have two mixed seeds, so we're gonna need at least 17, 18, at least 18 spots. Two. At 16, 17, 18. Let's uh, see what we have here. We have a cauliflower, that is good. That saves us 80 gold and a parsnip. That's less good. So we need to buy a green bean and a potato, which is not bad. Let's craft our first chest. We'll put this down. And what we'll want our ax and our hoe. We'll get our parsnips. I think it's 1230. We might spend a couple more minutes. We might spend a couple more minutes to look for one more mixed seed because if we can save the money on that potato and not have to buy it, that would be good for us. Uh, so yeah. Let's just clear off a few more of these weeds. And I'd like to have the entrance to our farm. Uh, cleared off. One of the things about this farm that is really nice is that um, the south exit is clear. Like, you know, well, you can see it. Where are you at? Looking for a couple seeds. There's another. We'll go just a little bit further afield here. We can't spend too much time on this because Pierre's close is at five. And we also want to, um, you know, take a tour of the rest of the map. Oh, and there's another. So this is good. Now, you also don't want to plant too many mixed seeds because for every 16 seeds you plant, uh, the possibility of a crow coming to eat your crops happens. And we can't build a scarecrow yet. So, yeah. So let's see, we have two more here. See what we got? And that is another parsnip and a parsnip. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Uh, can we water these real quick? We wanna get that done and out of the way um, so I know how much energy we have to spend on cutting wood. all uh you know it's all fine balance this is you know a relaxed <laughs> a relaxed have fun game <laughs> we plot out like a four-star general okay that is good you know what let's
decisions, decisions. I'm trying to free up as much space as we can. 3.30, do we have time for these? Let's make time. It's a greedy Honeywell, always wants all the things. No time to talk, Harvey. We're cutting it close. It's almost five o'clock. Well, you don't run away from me, girl. Hi. Oh, let's say hi to Pierre, too. Hey, it's Miss Honeywell, the new farmer. I'm Pierre. I know who you are, Pierre. Yes, I know. You are always the businessman. Okay, and what did we need? We needed a potato and a green bean. And this will take care of our spring crop bundle. So assuming we can get these in the ground and water, uh, we're doing well. We have one chest. Oh, Caroline. You must be Honeywell, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Yes, I know who you are. See you later. Go have some tea. Alex, nice to meet you. I am the new girl. I think we're gonna get along great. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, why, hello, and welcome to our little community. You can call me Granny. No, I will call you Evelyn. Thank you, though. I appreciate the thought. Penny, nice to meet you. Maru, yes, just moved in. Very nice to meet you as well. Whoop. Hey, Lewis. Uh, I haven't spent a night there yet. Elliot? Now, I don't know if we're going to get to this, but I think I have my eyes set on Elliot for this playthrough. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Sam is such a nice man. You know, the hair is a little off-putting. And this is why we... We're trying to leave as much room in our bag as possible to get the variety of uh, stuff we're sure to find. And could this be an artifact? No. No. And with the spirits, what? They were mildly perturbed. Luck not on our side. So, uh, yeah. So there's not likely to be good stuff in the trash or any stuff in the trash. Hey, Sam. Wait, don't go in the house yet. Hi. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. And we'll go down here, take a sneak peek and see, oh, could you be an artifact? It would be very nice to meet you. No, a book. You know, I am a reader, but I have to say that I'm a little disappointed to find a book. <laughs> a treasure would have been nicer. Uh, and now here we are to spring onions and oh good 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 I was gonna say we were robbed this isn't a lot but it's better than none because this means that we're gonna be able to to chop down enough wood to get um, that second chest and I'm gonna leave I brought the axe because I thought I was um, gonna chop down these trees they'll grow back faster um, so it's kind of like essentially free wood is why I prefer to uh, chop down these trees off the farm but I'd rather have keep that inventory spot free so yeah because we're looking for forageables this was all familiar to you guys right because along with the spring cup crop bundle we also have the spring forage bundle that we are trying to put together so we have two parts of that we have a we'll still need a leak and a dandelion for our spring crop bundle but they will show up if we got lucky and got them early on that would have been a boon to us as well because some early money a fishing start has very specific things that we're looking for. And uh, money is one of them. Uh, but I'm not going to, like, rob people to 
like I need these things so we're not going to um, sell you know everything in the hopes of uh, making a couple more bucks uh, it's not necessary if it comes to that tomorrow we will okay so there is the spring crop bundle taken care of and now we need we need wood for another chest now where that tree I'm gonna actually leave this tree here because the stumps will spawn um, seeds around them so if I could get oak seeds spawning every other day from that stump or just periodically that would be a bonus for us because then we could just go over there and use our pickaxe and uh, get some oak seeds oak seeds acorns <laughs> otherwise known as egg quartz acorns honey well um, and those are nice because why uh, because you need oak resin to make kegs so we're uh, we're always thinking of what we're gonna need next which comes with playing the game if this is the first time you're playing uh, you can just you know relax and uh, and take it easy <laughs> there's a there's no reason to be all extra like this and where are we at and so now we have 50 wood we're gonna get rid of a little bit more of this debris just so it doesn't um, spawn on our fields watering can away good and I think we're going to we'll craft up our chest so now we're off to a good start we've done everything that we needed for that we have the chest, two chests made and our crops in the ground. Now we're going to go around and I'm going to take a look down. I am going to see if I can get out of this maze. <laughs> and we're going to take a spin to the quarry down here and see if there's like some ore that we can break. And we also want to clean out as much of these weeds as we can, which are going to make room for, which will make room for, for trees to spawn, or more rocks and wood, which is all good stuff. We have 13, let's go for broke here. We found our first geode, and we also have a seed, which is nice. Some copper, a geode, a mixed seed. This is all good stuff. One, two, three. And yeah, let's let's just do it all. And we'll use up all of our energy. One, two, three and let's just use our scythe and we'll save a little bit of energy in case we need to you know cut something down to get back to the farm but we'll go through here before like saplings have a chance to um to start growing because we don't want to cut go in here once we have small trees growing and cut them down with this this is all good stuff o'clock can we eke out a couple more minutes we don't want to get too far in here because it's easy to get stuck on this stuff and we don't want to pass out and lose any gold because uh, every every dollar counts we have 10 energy there we go using it all 
Now, we got another mixed seed, but we're not gonna plant that because we already have all of the crops that we need and each crop that you plant increases your odds of getting crows. Um, each crop that you plant above 16, so we're not going to do that. Um, I would like to go to bed, but first, that is much nicer. Let's do it, go to sleep for the night. We have level one foraging. And let's see what kind of day we're gonna have today. We know it's gonna rain tomorrow. It always rains on day three. And our fortunes, they're in good humor. This is good news for us. Hey, Clint. Uh, Clint is here to drop off the uh, furnace, which we appreciate, but we don't wanna talk to him. And here's our note letting us know that Willie has a fishing pole for us. And like I said, this is, we're doing a pretty much a traditional fishing start. So, and here we go. This is right here. That is an oak seed and that spawned from that stump, which is why we decided to leave that one there because it's not in the way of our fields and we'll have uh, oak seeds uh, spawning there regularly that we can uh, dig up if we choose. First things first, let's, uh, go get that oak seeds an acorn an acorn <laughs> if we get really lucky we have a good luck day uh, so luck is on our side so we have the potential to get to a really good fishing start because hopefully we'll have um, lots of treasure chests uh, and nice things like that but another way that you can uh, be sure to get off to a good start is, uh, is just to put in the time. I would pick up that wood. So the more time that we can spend fishing, the better. So we're not going to chop wood or do anything like that on the farm and shoot. I should have brought the hoe with me. Is it worth it going back? I think it is. No, it's not. Don't do it. I will pop out here um, if we have time at the end of the night. Or in the morning. I don't want to waste the time. Uh, and there's another one. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? <laughs> but at least we have some spring onions, which are a good thing. So, yeah. Let's get those. And now let's get to the beach because one of the ways you can kind of uh, make your own luck by working hard. And the longer we spend fishing today, the better chance that we have of meeting our objective. And what we want to do today is is it le reach at least uh, level two fishing. If it's a really good day, if we get some bubbles and lots of treasure chests, we might be able to uh, to reach level three, but in order for a good fishing start, you really need level two uh, by the end of the day today. It's like pretty crucial. And Willie is going to give us his, uh, his old pappy's pole, <laughs> which is pretty special. And are there any worms on the beach here? No, and we're going to make a beeline, a beeline towards the mountain lake. And the reason why we're going to the mountain lake is it has the easiest fish to catch. Um, plus, oh sweet, it is a good luck day. We just got an ice cream, guys. A hundred energy. I'm looking for, oh. Maybe we'll give uh, Elliot a sunfish. We're gonna catch one. Chances are good our first fish is gonna be a sunfish, but we'll see. So exciting, we had a bit of luck. We made a mistake by not bringing the hoe with us because uh, now, now we're wasting time. We came across uh, two, look, there's a third, three artifact spots and we don't have the hoe with us, so it's pretty much, we've wasted a lot of time. 
And the reason why we want that artifact is because uh, that would give us gold. So yeah, time and money. Our mistakes are costing us. There's another link that we'll want to go and get. But yeah, we're just going to uh, settle in and start fishing. Now the first fish that we catch, chances are good it'll be a sunfish. But we'll see. Just relax and get zen. No, it's gonna, no, it's probably, maybe it's a carp. We're just gonna uh, settle in because we're gonna be here all day and night. Now it's a carp. Sorry, Elliot, no sunfish for you. If I was really into the relationship and socializing aspect of the game, um, we would definitely wanna get that quest done for, oh, that's perfect. We would want to get that quest done for Elliot because that gives us nice relationship points. And, oh, can we get it? I'm going to lose the fish and the treasure chest. It's going to be terrible. This little bar is tough, let me tell you. All that for a carp. What's in the box? Nice. Coal, coal is not bad. And geodes are good too. And more importantly, that gives us a bonus. Every time you catch a treasure chest, it gives a multiplier to the skill that you earn when you fish. Um, which is why the, those are so important for us. Because we're trying to raise our skill as fast as possible. Now, I can't. I am like mediocre fisher at best. Um, so with these low levels, I don't miss many of these easy fish, but I can't get perfects on them, uh, which is unfortunate because perfects give you more skill as well. And it looks like we have a nice bubble spot over here that's just completely out of the way that we're never gonna be able to reach. That's another way that luck plays a factor because it acts like bait. And um, and you the bite rate increases faster, so you earn skill faster, catch more fish, make more money. <laughs> and it's just full of mixed seeds. Isn't that funny? First iridium fish, which is really nice. Those are worth 75 gold. And I was not expecting to reach that today. Uh, so that is a good sign that we are leveling up. Now we can go ahead and check our skill bar to see what level we are. But I think we've probably met the milestone that we wanted of uh... Oh no. Oh, that was so close. Don't lose the treasure, Honeywell. It makes me cry. It feels bad. Nice. Bait is good. Love treasure. I would not mind some uh, gems and diamonds and stuff that we could sell, though. Money. We are, uh, we are fishing for money here, so... Nice. This is free farming. Rice shoots. Love those. That's good. Those are new. They came with 1.4. If you plant them uh, near a pond, 
the water themselves. So you just uh, toss them in the ground, and in six days, you uh, sell them for farming experience in gold. It's uh, my kind of farming. It's very nice. They can make a really big difference early on because it does not take much skill to earn a level. Um, so if we get lucky and can plant like a good quantity of rice shoots, so it's really nice early on. Oh, look at those bubbles. Yay. So excited. Now, energy is something too. So we're not going to pull up this cast because we already spent eight energy. But if those bubbles stick there, we are going to be very lucky because it's going to help us get... Um... Oh, shoot. Have to do it all over again. It'll help us get... Um... We're so close to losing this. Those bubbles increase the bite rate so we don't have to wait as long between each cast. That was so close. It was such a struggle. Geode. But that's okay. We'll take it. And it's making a liar out of me. Uh, the more casts that we, and the more hits, the more chance for treasure chests. Oh, it's just the more skill, the more money. I wish I was really good at fishing, though. Uh, but these fish are easy to catch, so even though, you know, I'm not great. We're doing a good job. I don't think we missed any yet, so. Ah, oh, and the bubbles, of course, are gone. Now, I enjoy fishing, and I like, you know, getting the treasure chests and all of that. Um... So this, even though like we're just sitting here and I'm going to be doing this for the next three days, this is fun for me. But if you don't like fishing, uh, you do not have to do it. You can uh, forage and do other things to make, to make money in the meantime. You can watch the... Um, uh, you can do things to make money and you can do things to work around not having any money. Like I think with um, Honeydale Farm, we didn't get a backpack for the longest time and we just um, built some extra chests. Um, we took the time to uh, chop down wood for the bridge at the beach in order to collect the coral and forage over on that side. I think we always check the trash cans. I mean, there's other ways that you can uh, spend the early days. Uh, trying to get enough money to, uh, to plant some crops to make some more money. See you later, Sebastian. Uh, we would have met all of the um, all of the people. Oh, okay, mistakes were made. We're gonna have to try this one again. Don't lose it. So close. We've had some close calls. Nice, more bait and some iron. That is good. Again, we're going to empty out our bags and we're out of energy anyway. So uh, let's see, we have a 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Um, let's 
Yeah, let's uh, chug some sodas. Yes? Chug another? Some green algae? And we can't reach those bubbles, which are unfortunate, but that's fine. And we are going to spend, we are not leaving. We're going to spend every last bit of time that we can um, up here for skill points and money. Uh, this first day of fishing is uh, crucial to a good fishing start. Uh, reaching the skill level that you need and getting enough money um, for an improved fishing rod. Now, it's crucial to a good fishing start, but it's not crucial to starting Stardew Valley. <laughs> like a good start to Stardew Valley. And it is coming up on 12 o'clock, so we're going to do this cast and maybe one more. And then we are going to uh, race back to the farm like we do. One more to use up all the energy that we can, and hopefully it won't take too long time-wise. It's getting, uh, getting down to the wire here. There we go, perfect. We should still have time to uh, to catch this fish and get home before uh, you know the witching hour. Okay, let's go like the wind. And the measure of a good day today will be whether or not we have enough money and enough skill uh, to get the fiberglass fishing rod tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we will find out. Things that are most important to get are the fish, because we're selling it all. And now we have two more spots left, and things that I think might be important to bring with us home are the leek, and I guess the dandelion. Yes. Okay, now, run like the wind, Honeywell. This is familiar, right? <laughs> we need to get home in time to uh, not pass out and make the fishing, the shipping bin, to get all of this catch in the, uh, in the bin. We would not have time to get these forageables, but it's nice to know that they're here. We can pick up them in the morning. Now, we could always sell this fish at Willie's shop but we really don't have the inventory space to be uh, walking around with all this stuff. Do you know what I mean? Okay, in you go. All of this uh, wonderful fish in the bin. Let's take a look here. And this is actually pretty good. If, if we are in a pinch tomorrow, we can come up with a quick um, 350 gold by making a seed pack out of our forage. There's also the potential um, of using, cracking open a geode and making a donation to the museum, which would also give us a 250 gold. Um, so we have options here that we can take advantage, advantage of tomorrow if we don't make enough. But yeah, that was a very busy day, full day. We're gonna go to sleep for the night. We have fishing level one. Fishing level two, we did everything we needed to do. Let's see where we checked in at the gold mark. And perfect on the gold. We're not gonna have to go to any above and beyond measures to uh, come up with gold. With gold, so uh, yeah, all in all, that was a very successful uh, start to the game. A, a perfect start almost, I think. And 
yeah, that is all for now, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the start of our new series. I'm going to leave a like if you did. Your likes and comments are always appreciated, and they matter. The content you like is scheduled more frequently. Also, consider subscribing if you are new. I'd love that, too. But that is all for now. I hope to see everyone soon. Bye-bye.